Our new statement options offer you a couple of new benefits, including the ability to personalize every statement with a custom default subject line and email body, as well as an expanded range of due date options. You're able to customize these settings for your entire company or on a per account basis. To set a company level statement option, first click on the settings tab, then select statements. Next, enter your default statement email subject and message under default email options. You'll want to set your preferred default due date and click Save. Activating per account statement options. To begin, click on the Accounts tab. Next, select the account you'd like to customize. Click on Modify Account. Then, choose the Statements tab. From here, select the initial statement due date. Under Email, add your customized email subject and personalized message. Finally, click Save Changes. Personalized Email Invoices With our new personalization option, you're now able to add a custom subject line and message for emailed invoices. As with statement options, you're able to customize these settings for your entire company and on a per-account basis. Adding company-level email invoice options is quick and easy. Simply click on the Settings tab, choose Dispatching, and then select Dispatching Invoices. Under Email Options, enter your personalized invoice subject and message. Finally, click Save Options to complete this setup. If you want to personalize account-specific email invoices, click on the Accounts tab, then select the account for which you would like to update the invoices. Once the account is selected, click on Modify Account. Choose the Invoices tab. Under Email, add the custom email text to use when sending an invoice to that account. Once complete, click on Save Changes. It's important to note that setting a default subject line and email body during this process does not completely replace what Tobook generates for emailed invoices, but it does allow you to add a distinctive touch. Preferred Statement Billing and Delivery Methods You can now set up the preferred billing method for each account to send either a statement or an invoice and choose whether to print and or email them, depending on your preferences. To set the preferred billing and delivery method for an account, click on the Accounts tab. Next, select the account for which you'd like to change the billing method. Once the account is selected, click Modify Account. Then select the Statements tab. Under Other Options, choose your preferred billing method as either a statement or invoice. Finally, click Save Changes. It's important to note that Motor Club private property, police, and individual account types will default to an invoice billing method. All other account types default to statement as their preferred billing method. The email delivery option will not be available if there's no email address on the account. Mass sending statements. Once your preferred billing and delivery method has been selected, you're now able to mass send statements based on delivery preference. To prepare and send mass statements, select accounts, then click on the Prepare and Send Statements option. Any account with preferred billing method set to Statement will be automatically selected for you, and the chosen delivery method will also be displayed. If you would like to change the delivery method manually on this screen, you can do so now. Once you have the proper delivery method selected, click on Create Statements. Topic will prepare and separate your statements according to the delivery preference. Select Print Statements to prepare statements for mailing, or select Email Statements to send statement information via email. You'll receive a notification that these were sent successfully. Undeliverable Emails Report Easily identify any statements or invoices that may not have been successfully delivered to customers using our new Undeliverable Emails Report. This report was created to significantly decrease the amount of time it takes to get paid when an email statement or invoice was unknowingly blocked. To access the Undeliverable Emails report, click on the Reports tab, then select Financial Reports. Choose the Undeliverable Email Report option. Select your date range and click Update to render your report. Click the Resend button to edit the original email address or any content. Finally, click Send Email to resend the email to your client. It's important to note that the undeliverable email will not show on the report for approximately 10 minutes after sending, as it continues to retry until it's considered undeliverable. Credit Hold If a customer has excessive charges, 
you're now able to put a credit hold on their account, which will notify your team upon completion that any calls for this company must be paid via cash or with credit card. To apply a credit hold, click on the Accounts tab, then select Modify Account. Under Credit Options, select the Credit Hold box. Finally, click Save Changes. It's important to note that once this option is added, it is not able to be bypassed by anyone in the company when creating, dispatching, or completing calls. It must be removed from the account to allow a balance to continue accumulating.